The Bird Alphabet Book by Jerry Pallotta, illustrated by Edgar Stewart. All right. A is for Atlantic Puffin. Atlantic Puffins have colorful beaks. They live on the ocean almost all year. When nesting on land, they are found in groups called colonies. Here, look at the Atlantic Puffins. Ooh, they kind of look like penguins, don't they? B is for bat. Hey, wait a second. Bats are not birds. Bats are mammals. Even though they have wings and they can fly, they do not have feathers. They don't lay eggs. Get out of this book, you bats. Now that the bats are gone, let's find a bird whose name begins with the letter B. Ah, yes, the blue-footed boobies. They are seabirds, and they can be found eating fish, which they catch by diving into the ocean. The other birds on this page is the red-footed booby. Ah. C is for crocodile bird. Crocodile birds fly right into the open mouths of crocodiles. They eat the leftover food around the crocodile's teeth. The bird always has something to eat, and the crocodile has clean teeth. Symbiotic. D is for duck. There are many different kinds of ducks. There are wood ducks, my favorite, mallards, pintails, black ducks, harlequin ducks, Canvasbacks, ruddy ducks, masked ducks, ring-necked ducks, and many more. What a variety. E is for eagle. These eagles are bald eagles, but they are not really bald. Their heads are covered with beautiful white feathers. The bald eagle is the national emblem of the United States of America. It can be seen on the back of the quarter and the dollar bill. Ah, yes, the flamingo. F is for flamingo. Flamingos have very long necks and very long legs. The beaks are curved, and sometimes they like to stand on one leg. G is for gosling. Goslings are baby geese. When they are young, they like to follow their parents around. The birds on this page are called Canada geese. H is for hummingbird. Hummingbirds are tiny birds that fly really fast. Their long beaks are perfect for sucking nectar out of flowers. I is for indigo bunting. The male indigo bunting is beautifully bright blue from its head to the tip of its tail. The female is plain colored so that it is hard to find when she sits in the nest. J is for jacana. Wow, what big feet. Jacanas have feet that are just right for standing on lily pads. They are also called lily trotters. Hmm. K is for kiwi. I didn't know that's a bird. The kiwi is a bird that cannot fly. It has wings, it lays eggs, it has a beak, and it has feathers just like other birds. But if it wants to go somewhere, it has to walk. Hmm. Like a penguin. L is for lovebird. These birds are very colorful. They are called lovebirds because they like to sit close together. They usually look like they are hugging and kissing each other. Oh. M is for the meadowlark. Meadowlarks build their hard-to-find nests on the ground. P 
People love meadowlarks because they sing cheerfully for hours at a time. N is for Northern Cardinal. This is one of the few birds that is almost entirely red. Sometimes it is simply called a red bird. We have those in our yard. Beautiful, I love them. O is for the oyster catcher. This bird is able to stick its beak into oysters and clams and pry them open. It lives near coastal mud flats where it can find plenty of shellfish to eat. Yes, yes, P is for penguin. Penguins cannot fly in the sky. It is fun to watch them swim because it looks like they are flying when they are underwater. Q is for Quetzal. The Quetzal is a bright green bird with an extremely long tail. It is found in Central America. Because there are so few of these birds, they are considered to be an endangered species. R is for Roadrunner. Roadrunners can fly when they want to, but they usually prefer to run. Roadrunners live in the desert, and they chase and catch little lizards for food. You gotta be fast. Catch those lizards. S is for Spoonbill. Can you believe it? This bird has a bill that looks just like a spoon. The baby spoonbills do not grow their wide spoon-shaped bills until they get older. Oh, there it is. Yes. T is for the toucan. The toucan has a very long and wide beak. Its beak is so big that you might think a toucan would not be able to fly. However, its beak is really not very heavy. U is for umbrella bird. This is a black jungle bird. The feathers around the top of its head are shaped like an umbrella, but when it rains, the umbrella does not keep its head dry. V is for vulture. Vultures have hardly any feathers on their heads. Maybe vultures are the birds that should be called bald. W is for white-faced scopels. This owl lives in Africa. It hides in trees, waiting for a chance to swoop down on insects and other small creatures. Owls make very little noise when they fly. X is for Xenops. This is probably the only bird whose name begins with X. Unlike most birds, the Xenops has a beak that is curved upwards. Interesting. Y is for yellow-bellied sapsucker. The yellow-bellied sapsucker is a woodpecker that got its crazy name because it drinks sap out of its favorite trees. It has a tongue with a brush-like tip. Hmm. And Z. Z is for zillions of zebra finches. These Australian birds have pretty black and white striped tails. Ooh. The 